Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> uh, James refuses to, you know, say it as it is. Yeah. We we'll just leave it as an inside joke. As an inside joke, yeah? <laughs> All right, let's uh, get into the press review. And the state of economy, actually a big story in most of the dailies today. Yeah. And it's that look at where the country is at. Election jitters and security decline in key agricultural sectors. Sees economy expand by a modest 0.1% to register 4.7% growth, even as the outlook for 2014-2015 looks gloomy. On the flip side, it seems that devolution has, you know, allowed for some jobs creation, you know, yes. about 700,000 jobs. So I guess it's a balance, I guess. Yeah. Yeah? Yes. Um, With some, lose some. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's... Yeah, an economic story, I think, and you know, someone has to keep track, you know, of, you know, our growth, you know, in the manufacturing industry. Uh, someone has to look at, you know, tourists. How many tourists, you know, we can bring in in a year. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so talking about you know the m amount of jobs it gives us, you know the service industry, you know building and construction, you know, uh, and, and all these things, you know, make the markup to you know what uh, an economy would look like. You know, and mm -hmm. I think the big story for me about this is the agriculture dropping, you know, by 1.3 percent. Yeah. Ours is an agricultural economy. You know, it's it's that. It's not anything else. Mm. Uh, and once we start losing that, you know, and, and it's a, a trend that I think has been already elsewhere that we are more and more living agriculture so that we, the places that we traditionally, you know, uh, plant food or whatnot, we're now building, you know, making us to go that. I, I'm not sure about the intelligence and integrity of that, you know, it's, it doesn't make sense, you know. But it's also it's been blamed on the erratic rains, yeah. you know, that it's not been quite clear, even the Met department is... But we can't eat buildings. That's the thing. We can't eat we buildings. We can't eat buildings. So the places like, I mean, if you just go, you know, Thicker Road, you know, and just, just past Kiambu and the places that would traditionally, you know, you would have, you know, uh, pineapples or whatnot. Now, whole well, estates. Concrete jungle. Yeah. yeah. But what is the motivation to stay in agriculture? I mean, if, if you can build a flat um, and earn, what, 200,000 a month? compared to waiting for coffee to grow for how many years and then mm. sell it and then you sell it at a low price because exactly. the middleman cons you and yes. then you're putting no so much work and yeah, so, so, so yeah. little returns i Th think that, there's that, no that motivation at all that's a, i think that's i mean it's a failure of you know our systems and i think the uh, government and the political leadership at that point because uh, our economy will not, it's not, it's not going to grow in any other way. Yeah. We cannot assume that our economy is going to be like America's economy or India's economy. It's about, you know, information and technology and whatnot. Mm -hmm. It's good and all those things, we have them, but that's not our mainstay. So I don't understand how we using our best uh, kept secret, we're losing it to, you know, say what? Let's all own, you know, a quarter of a plot in Kitengela and build houses. You know, and then life will be happy ever after. Yeah, yeah. yeah, interesting. That's the state of the economy. Read more about it uh, in the standard today. It continues on page two and three. Uh, but also, scars of war, and maybe Kathy, um, the last installment runs tonight, and you've yes. been covering this story with your colleague from. Uh, from the standard, yes. How has that been covering the? Can I just say the first a very good story? Oh. It's yes. brilliant. You know, <laughs> Thank it's you. a Sad. great piece of journalism. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Well executed. Yeah. Thank very you. well. Yeah. Thank you. It was. It was. Um, I mean, if you talk about the journey, it was 14 days of pure spine-tapping hell, mm -hmm. <laughs> considering that we were moving from one side of the country to another. But I think that this their stories needed to be told. It was it was necessary for us to actually give them that uh, to, to just put a face to these people and then tonight uh, oh sorry t today in the morning if you read the standard um, we have the Adan, Adan Suleiman story and I think Adan Suleiman story was the most heart-wrenching story that I have had in a while because this was some young guy and he he went to Kismayu, he went to protect his country and, you know, he was tortured and killed and, and dragged across the streets of Kismayu. And I, and, and I think it, it's, it's so symbolic because then it takes you back to 1993 when um, Black Hawk Down, you know, remember the, yeah, the, yeah, the, mm -hmm. the soldiers, the rangers were, the captain was dragged across the street and that, that image 
is kind of the reason why everyone pulled out of Somalia. So it's a very, it's a powerful image, it's a powerful situation, and and he he is a great hero, I think. I mean, yeah. he's a great hero. Okay. And also the guy, um, we, there's Onguso in, um, if you look, I don't know which page it is though, but I know they covered Onguso, page Jasper. seven. Yes, Jasper Onguso, and Jasper Onguso just knew he wasn't coming home. And uh, he knew he wasn't coming home, so he, he told his dad that he's not coming home, and, and you can get like more information about that. And he said he was very young, he was 25. He, was, he didn't, have a, didn't have a wife, didn't have a child. Yeah. yeah so. Sad, heartbreaking stories, and, and good that you brought them out so that people, as we're talking about Linda and she and all these other operations, that we see the other side, the flip side, yeah. you know, the soldiers, their stories, their families. Uh, it was a good eye opener. Thank you for that. Oh, thank yeah. you. Um, but also another big story which we are engaging with our viewers on today. Question of the day. Oh, my New favorite. Romans polygamy much easier. James, perhaps <laughs> you tell us if you'd yes, consider James, please talk taking and tell us. on, uh, you know. What is this about? Another. <laughs> and another. Um, let me give you feedback on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, yes. we, we, we asked about this question. I mean, and it's... Uh, I, I don't know what the feeling is, but uh, someone asked, you know, fundamental questions. Has a polygamy ever been illegal in this country? Mm -hmm. uh, the question, the answer would be no. It's, but not, it's, never, it's never been, been illegal. It's never been cemented in law. I mean, this is just c completely cementing it in law. And the fact that if but, but, you take cows to a woman's home, yes. okay, am I, I'm not sounding combative, but if you take cows to a woman's home, then she doesn't have a say if you bring a naka. She'll go out on the side, you know. So this is the girl. She doesn't have a say. But, so but what, what say? What, what say would you want to have? Let's cut. Is is the thing. Discuss uh, with discuss me. Discuss who this is you coming know? to. But, yeah. but, but, but exactly. <laughs> this is a, this is our home. Like oh. the uh, I don't think the law has outlawed discussion. Just has outlawed, you know, your consent. So the discussion would be there. So like, so you then know, there will be a know, pointless cut. discussion like, because like you cannot win. Uh, yeah, you know, exactly. We are bringing Sophia in law. into this, you know, arrangement. <laughs> You don't have to agree or anything. I mean, well, if you bring Sophia into the arrangement, as much as I love Sophia, I'd divorce you and I'll take half of your money. So you have Amen. to share half of your money with Sophia. Y'all would be broke, by the way. And, 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 Sophia, and Sophia would have to contend with, you know, dealing with half of the money. But it is, I think what, uh, if people are going to be polygamous, you know, and mm. if Kenyans and men wanted to be polygamous, uh, no law or customary or otherwise is going to stop yeah. men from doing that. Um, and I think this individual on individual basis, um, I don't understand the wisdom, you know, of putting it in law. But then again, who do we know? We elected yeah. people who, you know, we entrusted them with those powers. So yeah. we have to live with that. Um, so I think it's something about a deep reflection of our society, you know, for us, uh, the things that we do um, and how we do them. And we've always run away from the traditions and, you know, trying to say, you know, well, uh, we, we cut that short, you know, I'm no longer, you know, mm. practicing, you know, those things in the traditions mm. and whatnot. And now I am this, you know, modest, you know, uh, looking forward. Kind so you're of saying tradition. this is tradition, but if you talk about tradition, I mean, in so many cultures, you have to seek the consent of the first wife. The first wife yeah. has to say has yes. Has to be on the same book. Yeah, before page. you bring in the second wife. So it's in but contradiction of any tradition. Okay, I, I don't know if there's, a tra if there's, a, is there, if there's an ethnic group that allows non-consent of a but second marriage. But what is marriage. consent? And I don't understand what is consent. Consent is that we are in agreement if this, why is this person coming in? Why do you feel the need to have another? <laughs> Isn't that obvious? What is wrong? Yeah, so <laughs> what, what is wrong? <laughs> so that if it's the food, I can go to cooking classes. <laughs> okay. there's, there's nothing wrong. In food. fact, in fact, <laughs> this person is helping us, you know. <laughs> Uh, to make this even merrier. <laughs> but an interesting point to this, although for me I still wonder how significantly this will change the scene, really. Like, would somebody Probably go like, won't. oh, it's now law. Wow. Saying, Let me yeah, go and yeah. get married. I don't if, think if, that if will people happen. People are going to get married. Yeah, they are going to get married. Oh, yeah. They yeah. Get anyway. So it's changed virtually nothing, you know. But I like this tweet. Uh, the person who's talking about Germany allow men to reduce the jam in the singlet <laughs> social <laughs> sector uh, by one Le Reciato. Because the fact of the matter is, and we'll be having Chris later on in the show, and he said it before, is that there are more and, and, women and, 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 and than get rid, women. And Gertrude, I mean, is being, you know, pragmatic about it. So he said, despite the polygamy clause, we have other reasons, women, uh, to be happy, such as sharing of wealth. Not so bad. Yeah, so you I know. said you'll be broke. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. I mean, you look at it from, you know, the wrong end of it. You know, look at unwholesome, uh, 
women we have live. yes 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 women have no, a space because if you're well i speak for the selfish women if your wealth your what is yours is mine and exactly what is, you know, mine not is mine, mine and kathy and diana <laughs> exactly and other people yeah. we're gonna <laughs> Right. Let's move on. Page 10, <laughs> step 6, 1.4 billion shillings to pay Anglo leasing deals. Um terms of uh, money but we're budgeting in it yes we're, we're, we're budgeting it whatever stress you know. on the yeah. taxpayer yes yeah, they, so they it's have to another budget. hard year yes they have to budget these monies so that they can Into be paid it. for because yeah. last year's money wasn't enough so no, no, no. this is just gonna make so it worse have, yeah. so you have to pay them in, uh, in the next one year okay uh, so there's lots of coverage on the story we had on the front page of the standard as well in the daily nation terror attacks had growth uh, but 700,000 jobs created we spoke about that a little bit earlier that's on the front page and there's extensive coverage of that uh, all the way to the following pages but on page six it's the news that broke yesterday and those MCAs in Embu are not letting one oh, Mr. Wambora get away with Negotiations have failed, clearly. They have failed. Well, uh, <laughs> this is no longer about negotiations. He's already been impeached for the second time. But he uh, should have talked to his MCAs. I mean, well, those he, MCAs are not out to. But he has <laughs> a, <laughs> that's just saying. I mean, at least this time he won, what, I think, Moby 8. The last yeah. time he had what two so maybe he managed to convince you know six more six uh, more uh, on his Please way. don't vote me out <laughs> yeah but i i would think you know as a political decision for him he should have you know after he was impeached mm. uh, he should have just let it go yeah uh, it's not worth it so the embo county has not moved ever since the first impeachment mm. they are still there yeah. they're still haggling over the same issues um and i mean you have to think your some you know someone is bigger than you know the yeah. whole Embu County. I mean, he has to like pick. a pity Embu County. Yeah, yeah he, should, he should. He should take the high road. I mean, I should. personally think a political situation like this should say, yeah. well, uh, I'm not clearly. There is something that has happened, and Embu County is bigger than you know me. There comes a time. It comes a know. time because Embu County is experiencing a lot of issues in terms in the health sector. I mean, mm. we have a lot of doctors of you know resigning from the hospitals, the public hospitals, and and there's so many issues that he needs to just say. Let's work. Yeah. yeah. Let's work. Well, step Let's work. And some clarity for tomorrow's big day celebrations. Also a story that's there. Pusetu <laughs> stopped from meddling in labor feet. And, you know, um, well, I totally made quite an interesting point about um, how interesting it was to see the CS weighing on this matter, mm. but very clearly on one side <laughs> of uh, their questions. So, I don't know. It's, it's, it's I guess, clearer which is official. Kotu is official for tomorrow. It is. Yes, it is officially it is given. Um, I, I think it would be very difficult for Poseidon to organize any other, you know, function at this point. Uh, maybe they should try their luck next year. I mean, this happens every year, you know, so it's not like this is the last one. Um, but yes, go to, and I think it's a reprieve. It, we were diverting the whole attention of the I country know. into the organizing of an event instead yeah. of discussing the real issues and the mm. content of the matter of the day. So uh, hopefully, you know, workers can put, you know, go to into... Um, question 
Yeah, and hopefully Kambi can let the two, you know, fight it out on their own. Yeah, without and stop sitting looking in. as though he's, you know, taking a side. Yeah, because now he's 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 Pusetu. and if the government is Pusetu, then uh, what hope does uh, Atoli have? No wonder he's fighting tooth and nail to keep Atoli man. <laughs> Watch TV or switch off your TV. <laughs> Kimemi has been dropped from security post. That's on the back page of the Daily Nation. Secretary to the cabinet replaced by Kinwa. In Uhuru's latest changes, so that continues to happen, some changes there. He's been replaced by the head of the public service. The changes were effected on Monday. Yes. And an interesting headline today in the Star. Other than the job that Waiguru says they've created, 742,000, mm -hmm. um, which is uh, what slightly less than 300,000 short of what they promised. Yeah. Um, Uhuru smokes bang, ah. in quotes, MCA quotes. Allegedly. Allegedly, because they... Allegedly. <laughs> but the MCA didn't say allegedly. That's he why didn't, that's why he's in quotes. <laughs> <laughs> that's we why he's in quotes. We are saying allegedly. Weird. Let's do it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yes. Um, so, Kyogoro, who had representative Samuel Nkwani, a laboratory technology stand politician, arrested on Sunday for saying people close to Uru should advise him to stop smoking bang. <laughs> Onkwani allegedly stated at a church function. The prosecution told the court that Onkwani thereby undermined the authority of President Kenyatta. It's true, though. <laughs> I mean, how yeah. do you go to a public rally and say, your president smokes weed? How? You know? <laughs> but do people, like, anyway? It, I think it just goes into saying how our politicians tend to just speak without yeah. any filter. You know, mm -hmm. they don't think about so what the they're, they're court, saying, man. Yes. you know, in public. And then that's, that's a great concern. I think mm -hmm. it's a great concern for a lot of people, especially in the communication industry, when you hear a politician and they just, you know, speak whatever. <laughs> yeah. Without, without taking regard to law or, you know, the public feeling. They don't read the room. Yeah. Okay. Well, read more about that and other stories there. Of course, the people as well is... Uh, Pretty much the same stories we've been discussing. There's the Embu governor there, polygamy, anger leasing, government puts on brave face despite slow growth. But a little bit of, before we close chapter on this and do grab yourself a copy of the standard, yesterday, uh, someone told South Africa. Oh, yes. Was trending. <laughs> Why are South Africans being told so something? It funny. <laughs> well, James, for those who yeah, do not James, follow the trend. <laughs> well, so the sports minister, uh, who was, you know, giving um, a speech, you know, and was talking about, you know, the changes that he's done and, you know, talking about, you know, how uh, his, his office, you know, has created new things, you know, and many things, you know, dropped a jibe and said, you know, we are South Africa, you know, <laughs> unlike Kenya who sent their swimmers to Olympics, then they drown. <laughs> we don't do that. <laughs> So yeah. uh, Kenya's picked that up. It's not funny that we can send, you know, athletes to swim and then they drown in the Olympics. It's, it's not funny. It's not a good it thing. It is not funny. You know, uh, <laughs> and so Kenyans took on him and took on South Africans. On South Africa. Yeah, and, and it appears that, you know, we went ham. Kenyans, yeah, one. Hmm? Did you see the Oscar, Oscar, Oscar Pissaris, um joke where his, his um, artificial legs were like, on a, on shackles and say Oscar has escaped. It, I found that. Oh my god! I was like, <laughs> that's really, just, guys? That's just were, oh yeah. Who thought I, I of read that? A few of those and some were, you know, quite hilarious. Mm. And um, I really liked the one that said our oh, first lady at least, you know, like ran the London Marathon and completed it. Yours combined. And then, he has several wives, right? He has very many. Very yes. many wives. None of them has. So that was like, yeah, cool. We're cool. Yeah, but Kenyans won. You know, we won. That, yeah. But Kenyans always win this fight. I mean, we're you, you, you can't Africa just to take a, you know, you, you can't take a jab at Kenya and expect to just, you know, sit pretty. No, 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 no. no. We've yeah. won every tiff. Yes. <laughs> 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 Guys, go all out. Someone yeah. tells and then we, we've won all those tiffs. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I mean, and I, I think the, so the South African uh, sports minister, you know, refused to apologize. Said, "Well, as we get arguing about nothing, um, I made my point." And so you, you know. where did we even come into that speech? I know. Well, how all the way in South Africa. What swimming. are you thinking about Kenyans? You know, what are you? I mean, I'm swimming. You know, I, I don't know. I mean, you can say anything else, but anyway, personally, personally, I was good to tell and you. And we do have great swimmers. We have yeah, um, those you know, brothers. Yeah. People. And the and the girl, and the girl. We have many swimmers. I'm I'm not fun of them. You know, I, my first lesson in swimming. You know, I showed up, and my coach drowned. I lost. <laughs> that was my first and last time. The coach up. drowned. Yes. <laughs> that, is, that is now a whole other James Smart's coach drowns.
kind of trend. That's it. Oh, but very quickly before we go, I heard that today Officer Linda Okello is appearing before Kimayo. Yes. <laughs> Hopefully not. <natural laughs> After so. writing a mini statement. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I think they, they, should, they, leave they, they, they should leave her alone. I think they should leave her alone. They're making a whole a lot of nothing. I mean, yeah. come on. It's leave. If, if, leave that, Linda if that alone. picture leave was Linda not taken, yeah, it, would, it wouldn't have been anything. So. Yeah. I think the AG you know, and his people should find real work. I mean, we have real terrorists. Exactly, you know, real issues to deal with. Yeah, please. <laughs> like Linda, yes. really, just leave her alone. You've given her the trousers, they're good. We are, no, no, not yeah. whatever. But hey, thank you for watching and staying with us on Morning Express. Grab yourself a copy of the Standard newspaper.